Happy Sunday, peeps. I'm all decked out in my fancy lily scores from Target this morning. Oh, there we are. Fancy hat with a nice fancy lily bow, a bathing suit, and a pair of the most coveted flip-flops, which was all about good karma because I'll tell you what, the fact that these were still in the rack, the only pair in my size, nothing short of a miracle, but it is about karma because as I was walking to the beach this morning for my friend uh, to meet my friend who was picking me up, my shoe broke. Now, I could have turned around and ran home and got another pair of shoes, but time is of the essence when we're talking Lily at Target. So I just hopped in that car and I walked around Target with no shoes on. So shoe angels were looking and saying, that poor girl has no shoes. And lo and behold, on the rack by themselves for these beautiful flip-flops. And then I discovered this lovely hat and this bathing suit. Karma, baby, because it's perfect because rocks is sailing today. So let's get back to the story of Rox, the original concert chick. She walked along the shoreline for miles and ended up in saint Truc de Pay. She was going back there so she could find out what really happened at that factory and her family. It's a natural thing to want to know where you came from and what was going on there. But she found out that the candy factory that exploded was never rebuilt and she continued on her journey. There was no records of anything. So she found herself on a beach where the women were topless and the men flashed keys to big boats and other things that should never be flashed. Thank God she wasn't traumatized by that because I know living in South Florida, there is a lot of that going on. These big boats and these scary people that have these big boats. And I'm not talking about everybody, but I think those of you who have been on any of those bar docks along South Florida know exactly what I'm talking about, but we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about rocks. So anyway, she walked along the dock where all those big boats were anchored and no sooner than you could say peeps daddy, she flapped her wings and hopped aboard the largest yacht heading to America. Ah, uh, land of the free and opportunity. We'll see, thought rocks. We'll see as she settled into a Louis Vuitton train case she spotted in the master suite, bracing herself for the Atlantic crossing. After many seasick days and nights, now, I'm unpredictable on a boat. I will not go. Don't invite me to go on a boat unless you want to be have to turn around maybe two minutes into the sail because even on calm seas, I can sometimes get a little bit queasy. So good for her another thing about her strength and determination because i just wouldn't have hopped on that boat i would have found an airplane to fly me back to the fly me to the u.s i would have jumped into the storage compartment or something but she weathered the storms she crossed over and even with a brief encounter with a sailor craving chicken soup that is scarier than being seasick she landed in new york city so that's what my country gave to america she marveled as she looked towards the statue of liberty as she admired the lovely statue, she touched the necklace that she pe picked up in a fort along the way. It was silver with turquoise beads and a beautiful pendant with a teensy-weensy diamond. She was told that silver carried the moon's energy and would keep her balanced, and that turquoise enhances creativity, serenity, and communication, and was wonderfully uplifting. Nice, the words I rock were engraved on the pendant with the I dotted with a diamond. The jewelry designer misunderstood her wish for a I am rocks inscription, but she wasn't going to make a fuss because she did not sweat the small stuff and she knew that everything happened for a reason. Rocks heard many chicks on the yacht say I rock to mean that they were fearless, fun, confident, and beautiful inside and out. They were all topless too, but that wasn't the point. Rocks was an I rock chick, though she always kept her feathers on. And at that point, looking up at Lady Liberty, all misty-eyed, like I'm looking up at her right now. It is emotional. It really is. I can just imagine her being in the corner of this, of this room. And, uh, you know, we were up in the crown. Joe and I went up into the crown of that. You've got to do that if you go to New York. You've got to see that. Amazing. Um, anyway, so she was looking up at Lady Liberty, Liberty all misty-eyed, but careful so as not to cause your mascara to run. Smart chick, I'm telling you, smart chick. She knew she was there to free to discover just how much she rocked and more. So I'm going to leave it at that. We're going to make these really quick. But I want to share that necklace with you because I forgot prior to reading this and I thought I could just put the video on pause and run upstairs and get the necklace. But no, it doesn't work that way. 
I had to start all over again. So I got the necklace that I forgot that was even made. We're talking, you know, 2008. So here it is. Look how pretty. Whoop. That's my message to you. If I can get it up there. There you go. It's backwards. See, I don't know how to fix that, but just imagine, hold it into a mirror or something. That's you. You rock. Here's the turquoise beads. Here's a little tiny, 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 whoops, tiny diamond, which reminds me of Glitter the Glow because, you know, I think you know the story about that. The uh, We're all little specks of glitter. And individually, each one of us make an impact. I can spot a speck of glitter on any floor surface because you just, it sparkles and shines no matter how little it is. It's there and it's significant. It grabs your attention. But when all of us sparks of glitter get together, that's when we really can make some huge impacts. So that's what Glitter the Globe is all about. But also I noticed on this, um, actually this was made in 2007 to celebrate the book. It was conceived in 2007 and was hatched in 2009. That was the whole story that went public. That was her little presence in the world. And look what else is hanging from here. Butterfly Freedom, Citrine, Peace Sign, and a Heart. I gotta tell you, this is so exciting. I'm ready to cry as if I was really staring at the Statue of Liberty, but I'm staring at this and I want to cry. And I don't have mascara on, so I can weep all I want. I think I'm going to go do that outside right now because I am ready for the beach or the pool or something to get outside in the sunshine. And I'm wishing you that Wishing you the same. Have a wonderful, wonderful, happy, sunny day. And I will see you for the next edition of Denise Marie TV. See you later.